Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Real Room Show, and I've got my new ratty, <laughs> that's a kind of a bad name, uh, radio, the RF75A. I'm down in my workshop. I cleared a space so I could get into my workshop. That's how bad it is. And I've connected the little 10-foot wire antenna that comes with the radio this is way too short, but this is what comes with the radio. So I was going to start with that. I'm using the application to control the radio. Uh, I might have my cell phone a little too close to it. I don't know. Um, and so I did a complete shortwave band scan, and it came up, I believe, with nine signals. The first one you heard is pretty weak at 4.8. Four zero. Sorry for the display on my cell phone not showing things too well. Actually, you can see them better over here. And if I go to memo, then I can um, theoretically go up and down what it found. Nope, I didn't. I didn't state. Whoops, I didn't want to. There we go. See, it tells me it's really in memo mode, which it won't stay in there when it gives me it right here. The the preset number. So I have to sh hit memo, the number comes up, and then I use this to go through the various ones. We'll turn the volume up. We could turn it up here. That's pretty strong. 6.030. That one usually comes in pretty strong. Okay, we have to go back to memo. So we're on two. There's three, same station, different frequency, 7.335. Go to memo again, go to four, same station. Not looking too good here, just getting that one station. Five, 12.2, noise, that's all that is. Memo, number six more noise and it's um right at sunrise here in Clearwater, florida at 6 55 a.m memo number seven 18.3 noise eight 18.305 nothing so i got eight um signals and three of which duplicates, and that's all the real stations it got. Now, I'm going to do another show. I have to do a different show because it takes 15 minutes, approximately, to do the full scan of the shortwave band, and I don't want you to sit through that. So what I'm going to do, I am going to connect my Megaloop antenna to this radio and try a scan again and do a different video. So with, I'm in my workshop, I've got this 10 foot antenna just hanging from the ceiling, not adequate, not adequate as you saw. I should be getting a lot more. As a matter of fact, I, before I started this, I used my SDR, I think it's my Duo, and with the outside mega loop antenna, and I got a bunch of signals, bunch of bunch of uh, stations. So we're going to give this guy a chance by using that outside antenna. Not what you would say is an ideal situation from the standpoint. This is a tiny portable radio, so you're not going to normally hook it up to a mega loop outside antenna. You might hook it up to a longer long wire and string it up from a tree and get better reception. You know, like the other real type uh, long wire antenna got, it's about 20 feet, which that is what you need as a minimum for shortwave. As a minimum, 40 feet is ideal. Well, maybe not ideal, but much better. So we're going to try the Mega Loop. We'll um, use this little clip here to clip on the mega loop and then do a scan and then show you the results in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye bye.